Well, before we get back to Tucker, we do want to get back to the breaking news out of the district. We've been following throughout the morning. The Amber Alert for the missing two-year-old boy has been canceled. Let's get back to Bob, though. He is in Northeast with what we know right now. Bob, good morning. Hey there, Steve. Good morning to you. D.C. police say Caleb Scott is fine and that he has been reunited with his mother. We are in an alley behind uh, the 1200 block of 49th Street Northeast. And take a look behind me. That is the Toyota Highlander that Caleb was in when it was stolen from the parking lot of a 7-Eleven less than a mile from here up on Nanny Helen Burroughs uh, Avenue. Uh, this is the, the police have been taking uh, fingerprints from this car because the suspect is still out there. So this is the car. We are told that this started, and I can show you a live picture over at the original scene. Uh, this is over at... Um, uh, uh, a 7-Eleven, Nanny Helen uh, Burroughs Avenue, the 4800 block. What we're told by police is that Caleb was in the car when his mother went into the 7-Eleven, and that's when the car was stolen, unfortunately. And now we can show you, there is Caleb, two years old. Uh, he was wearing a blue shirt, blue shorts, red sandals, but that Amber Alert has been discontinued because he has been found now this morning. Police also want you to look at uh, photographs of the suspect. Uh, these are images that were taken inside the 7-Eleven, and you see him there. He's wearing a black uh, sweatsuit. He's got this tan hat on. Um, he was in the store probably with Caleb's mother, went outside the car, the SUV was there with Caleb inside. Whether he knew there was a child in the backseat or not, we're not sure. But uh, police say this is the suspect who stole the SUV and drove less than a mile away. We are kind of near Deanwood Rec Center, Ron Brown High School, Houston Elementary School in this area. But the car, the SUV, as we come back live, can show you it, was abandoned here uh, behind an apartment building. Uh, this is the um, 1200 block of 49th Street Northeast. And again, not far from Ron Brown High School. So whether the suspect lives here, knew about this area, or realized that Caleb was in the back seat and freaked out and just dropped the car off here, we're not sure. But Caleb is fine, been reunited with his mother, who again, of course, the police was inside the 7-Eleven when this SUV was stolen. And you see the investigation continues. They have the photo of the suspect, but they're now, uh, you know, getting fingerprints and other evidence here to see if perhaps they can get a name to match with that photo. Guys. Bob, thanks very much. All right, putting together a few of the pieces there, answering some of the questions. But, of course, the big one yet to be solved is who was it that took that vehicle with the child inside from Nanny Helen Burroughs Avenue earlier this morning? You saw the description of the suspect or the photo of the suspect out there. We put it on social media as well. If you do know who that might be, very distinctive outfit as well, contact D.C. Police. Bob, thanks very much for the update. Jeanette, we'll get back Happy to you. Happy to report that good news. Steve, thank you.